Chelsea 2 1 Newcastle, Willian sends Blues six points clear in fourth. There has been a growing feeling among those who follow Chelsea that selling Willian to Barcelona would be no bad thing. Perhaps they will rethink. Not so much on the grounds of his wider performance, there wasn't much in it, really. Except, that is, for one moment of such wonderful quality that it won a game that was fast turning into an embarrassment for Chelsea. It came around 57 minutes in at 1-1. Chelsea were flopping about the place not just struggling with their finishes, which has been a theme of late, but not creating much, either. And then the ball reached Willian out on the left without much on. A blink later and it had been lashed across goal and inside the far post. Chelsea, 4-3-3, Kepa 6, Azpilicueta 6.5, Rudiger 6, Louise 6, Alonso 6, Kant 6.5, Georgino 6.5. Kovacic 6, Barkley 63, 6 6.5, Pedro 7, Hudson Odoi 81, Hazard 6.5, Gerald 87, William 7.5 subs not used, Caballero, Christensen, Emerson Palmieri, Ampadi goal scorers, Pedro 9, William 57 booked, George no manager, Maurizio Sari 6.5 Newcastle, 5 4 1, Dubravka 7, Yedlin 6, Manquillo 82, Leon 6, Lassil 7, Clark 6, Richie 6.5, Perez 6, Murphy 82, Longstaff 6, Hayden 6, Atsa 6.5, Rondon 6 subs not used, Shar, Murphy, Fernandez, Manquillo, Joselu, Sterry, Woodman goal scorers, Clark 40 booked, Richie manager, Rafa Benitez 6.5 referee, Chris Cavanaugh 6.5 quite something, that, and worth watching if it flashes up. Worth fighting for, too, if you look at the bigger picture with this player. Granted, he has not quite sustained his best this campaign and £50 million is an awful lot for a 30-year-old with only 18 months to run on his contract. Cashing in might well be the best bet. But not many players can do what Willian is able to do with relative ease when the mood takes him and that, really, is why Maurizio Sarri's side won this match. For a while that didn't look likely, such was their performance after taking an early lead through Pedro. That should have been enough, given how poor Newcastle have been this season, but it is hard to take much for granted with Chelsea at the moment, because with 11 goals in their previous 10 games, they have been limping a little. Results have been trickling in, but a struggle nonetheless. And so it played out in this game. They were strangely flat, indecisive, unable to accelerate past a jog, and so a Newcastle fan base that started the game with the usual insults at Mike Ashley, who was present, started to believe. With that, the side grew and got themselves level through Kieran Clark. For a brief moment it seemed they might even go ahead, but that would be pushing it. Their season has been wretched, after all, and again this match turned against them, with Willian's brilliance. That sole contribution means five wins and seven for Chelsea and only one win and nine for Newcastle, which would have been the prediction of most at the start of play. Just look at the team sheets, if not the form. Maurizio Sarri made three changes to the side beaten by Tottenham in the Carabao Cup, David Luiz came in for Christensen at centre-half. Matteo Kovacic went on the left of the midfield three in place of Ross Barkley and Pedro started an attack ahead of Callum Hudson-Odoi. Nice options to have. Rafa Benitez's selection hinted at an altogether tougher life. We know about his difficulties, partially because he discusses them so frequently, but also because they are so painfully obvious to the naked eye. They reek of neglect and the reminder comes each time Benitez files his team. This one showed a collective of 11 men that cost around £25 million less than Chelsea's £70 million goalkeeper. The opening goal for Chelsea was delightful, with David Luiz dropping a long ball behind Clark and Pedro controlling with his right and lobbing Martin Dubrevka with his left for his seventh goal of the season. Lovely stuff, even if Benitez's analytics will likely knows on why Pedro was allowed to run untracked between Richie and Clark. At that stage, all was rosy for Chelsea, a goal to the good against limited opposition. 
but the mediocrity that followed was alarming. Other than a header sent over the bar by Louise, they offered almost nothing of note. That allowed Newcastle some confidence and having taken the sting out of the game, they gradually started to threaten. It started with a few forward forays, continued with a near miss from Os Perez and culminated with the equaliser, scored by Clark with a fine header from Ritchie's corner. By the close of the half, Newcastle were the more likely to score. How's that for a tale and defied expectations? Chelsea started the second with a little more verve but showed nothing even approaching the quality William delivered with his goal. Hazard was at its root in so much as he sucked in three men to block his path to the Newcastle area, and that allowed space to William on his left. With a touch he got a slither of space next to DeAndre Yedlin and his finish, a curler across goal and inside the far post, was marvellous. And reason enough to block any advances.